Hey everyone, um, I'm here today to do a little bit of cooking with tea packs. So I had my friend Haley choose for me a bowl. I've got a soup bowl here. Um, I've got a plate, just a, a normal size dinner plate. And then my utensil is a wooden spoon. And um, so as we were choosing a random task, it ended up that I need to slice hard cheese. Um, that is the task that I was given with these tools. So as I was thinking about the wooden spoon, um, I kind of have to repurpose it a little bit and use more of the edge here and look for um, a sharp area, I guess. So I can slice. This isn't gonna be the prettiest cheese plate, um, but it'll do the job. I guess it doesn't really matter once you've eaten it anyway. Um, and obviously I would have much rather had a knife than a wooden spoon for this task because I need something sharp that can cut through this cheese that is definitely not soft cheese. Um, it doesn't <coughs> look super pretty here with this uh, arrangement, but I guess that makes me think does it really, really matter so much? I guess presentation is huge when you're cooking and when you are um, putting food on the table for somebody, but realistically, this works. I still have seven pieces of cheese. I could put on this cheese plate here, put some grapes with it, crackers, it would be delicious. Um, this plate worked perfectly. I could have adapted if I had a smaller one, more of like an individual size. Um, I have like a nice big cheese board, but the plate worked fine. So as I was um, having these tools chosen for me, I was thinking a little bit about choosing the right tool for a task. And in a kitchen, it's pretty easy for a chef. They know uh, what they need in order to be successful. A knife, ideal for cutting cheese. A wooden spoon is more ideal for stirring a boiling pot of pasta. Um, and as Gordon Ramsay would say, you want a utensil in your kitchen that can do more than one thing. You usually don't want it to just have one use. But this really ties into our classroom too. Teachers have so many tools in their toolbox of strategies, of the different pedagogical knowledge that Mishra and Kohler talk about in their technological pedagogical content knowledge framework. Um, and so it really is important that we talk about how to use those tools and especially as we add technology into our classroom and teachers are having one more thing that they need to be able to be successful with how we can best train our teachers and how we can best think about what kind of tools that we are using for what kind of purpose how are we best going to slice our cheese or how are we best going to teach our students and engage our students in creating the kind of products that demonstrate their learning it was pretty awkward to use a, a wooden spoon for cutting cheese, and I guess that's how it feels in a classroom too when students are given a task that um, technology doesn't quite fit with. It definitely feels pretty awkward for those kids too, and this is something I'm going to keep in mind in my classroom. It was kind of fun, um, definitely a great hands-on learning experience, so make sure you check out the rest of my blog post for a little bit more information.